Carabin. Hi, Katie. Hi, Mr. Clare. Good Hi. morning. Um, I, in the wake of Jamie Oliver's comments about British young people um, not being reliable, etc., I wondered if the government had any uh, intention in trying to raise the reputation of the hospitality industry as a career, because I run a pub mm. and I've found it a horrific experience trying to get British young people to come and work for me, so I ended up, uh, I've basically hired Europeans, Australians and people like that because they tend to believe that hospitality is a career rather than just a stopgap. Just to remind listeners, don't go, Katie. Jamie Oliver has said British workers whinge about long hours, that if his restaurants had to rely on British staff rather than European immigrants, he'd have to close them all down. They, those people, immigrants, are stronger and tougher. Katie, stay on the line, Mr Clegg. Katie, where is your pub? Is it in Maribyrn, is it? Did you say yes? Yes, it is, yes. Uh, and... and, um, and what you just found? You just found that British youngsters didn't want to work, or, or? they don't. Ter- they, they don't turn up for the, the interviews. Mm. They turn up for one shift, then they don't come back. Mm. They turn up late. They turn up mm. scruffy. Mm. They complain if you ask them to do something that is, you know, that, mm. that's not just serving drinks. They just they just don't have any intention of working, yeah. really. And what happens? Well, sorry, Mr. Pr- Deputy Prime Minister. What happens with the other? Just in a sentence, they'll do whatever they're asked. Are they very biddable? Exactly whatever okay. they ask. They're reliable, they turn up, even if they've got a cold, they'll turn up. Yeah. But the British youngsters don't, if they've even got a Well, I mean, the f- first thing I'd say, Katie, is I-, I strongly agree with what you said about how we need to, um, you know, promote the fact that, the, that the, what you call the hospitality industry, hotels, restaurants, pubs and so on, is a, is a huge industry, and it's one which provides huge amounts of opportunities to, 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 to youngsters. And I'm obviously sorry to hear about your experience. My own, my own experience, I have to say... Um, uh, is I often think that, that that people who kind of denigrate British young people as somehow you know lazy and not prepared to make an effort, I have to say I meet so many young people who are desperate to to do well, to to get a get an opportunity to do well, and are prepared to to put in the hours and to and to work hard. That's clearly not your experience. Well, and, nor and, Jamie Oliver, and he runs well, hundreds of restaurants. Sure, I mean, I, I can't, Dozens. I can't, I can't, you know, I can only speak from the many of the young people I meet, not least because... You don't recognise... Well, look, I've spent a lot of time, for instance, promoting the value of apprenticeships for young people. I tra- literally travel around the country speaking to young apprentices, and I'm struck over and over again about the kind of get up and go that, 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 that you know, the, the youngsters I meet who are getting onto apprenticeship schemes, which I think is a great, great way, by the way, of creating a sort of stepping stone into work for youngsters, what they feel. But that's clearly not Katie's experience, or indeed Jamie, Jamie Oliver's. Um, and I think, and I certainly agree with Katie, if that's what you're suggesting, we shouldn't, you know, no one should kind of look down their nose at, 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 a, at, a, at a, you know, fulfilling job in the retail sector, particularly if you're interested in serving customers and interacting with other people, which of course is what, 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 your, what your trade, your vocation is all about, Katie. Well, I, I just think it's a shame that you go to other countries, yeah. you go to Italy, Spain, Ireland, Australia, and you're served by people from those countries. But you come to London, and there's a huge amount of tourists who come to London for a London experience, and they're served by someone from Poland, or someone from Australia, or someone from Italy, and not someone who's actually from London or the UK. Well, I mean, I, I I certainly agree with you that where there are job opportunities for youngsters and youngsters who want jobs, you know, by definition, we should we should be encouraging British youngsters to to take up those opportunities. At the end of the day, they've got to kind of choose what they want. We, for instance, in government, we can't I can't point a long finger and say to this individual, that individual, you'll do that. But we're we're creating, I hope, the right incentives. For instance, in something that I've put together and launched called the Youth Contract, which is basically an offer of um, money to employers like you, Katie, to take on a young a young job applicant where you've got a new where you've got a new job offer. And what we're saying to youngsters, if M- they might want, might not to, be if, a British lad or girl, of course, could be an Eastern European again, sure, who no, seem happier. No, but no. You, you don't recognise that with Jamie Oliver says you simply don't recognise that the British Look, workers I, I, whinge I, I, about long hours. I. I my own personal views, I'm basic as a person, I'm incredibly positive about British young people. I think they're having a tough time. I think it is a difficult time to be a youngster looking for work. And most, not everybody, of course not everybody, but the vast majority of youngsters I meet, I think, I, I have, I have a, both a lot of sympathy for the dilemmas they face in these difficult economic times where youth unemployment's gone up, but also have a huge amount of admiration for the, for the, for the sort of pluck and get up and go that many of them I meet display.